Hello and welcome to Charger Bulletin News. I'm Kaylee Feschler. This week was the premiere of the University of New Haven Theater Program's fall production, A Chorus Line. Here's more from the students who worked on and starred in the classic musical. The University of New Haven Theater Department is hosting their fall show, A Chorus Line, which will be held in Bucknell Theater November 15th through the 18th. Uh, the show is about actors auditioning for a show, which is really cool because it's a show. Um, <laughs> And it's going through their lives and like telling their stories, which was the stories of like the original cast who performed it in 1976. The cast is more than ready to put on a great show. Through many hours of costume preparation, warm ups, and unusual stretching techniques, the cast crew and director are all excited to put the show on and cannot wait for the University of New Haven community to experience it with them. I play a character called Cassie. Um, she is definitely one of the older of the group that's on stage and she's just a symbol of anyone who has a dream and wants to go for it no matter how many times someone has put them down, no matter what obstacles life throws at them. She is the person that's like, I don't care, I'm going to do what I love no matter what. So you know, people come and go, but every show is completely different. You spend, I mean, the last two weeks every day, I've been seeing the same people, same time, same moves and everything, but it never gets old. There's always something new, so I think that working with this cast especially has been just uh, incredible. What's there to say about the Bronx? It's uptown, it's the right. That is a picture of a person. I would say bring your friends, and I would say be ready for a night of laughs, maybe some tears, but definitely a night of emotion. For the Charger Bulletin News, I'm Kaylee Freshler reporting. The University of New Haven chapter of Delta Phi Epsilon hosted their annual Defordute event last week. Here's more on the male pageant from Editor-in-Chief Glenn Rohrbacher. Defordute is an annual male pageant held by Delta Phi Epsilon, a sorority at the University of New Haven. Students can compete to win in a variety of events alongside Delta Phi Epsilon sisters. The event is a culmination of months of fundraising for the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. Um, honestly, this event has been so many months, and I know she just said that, but so many months of preparation. Um, and I think I most looking forward to. I haven't heard Julia Ray's, um, you know, testimonial about her experience, and it's always good to hear firsthand about where the money and awareness that we're raising is actually going to. Um, so that's really, really special. I think, and it reminds us about why we're doing what we're doing. Um, so that was definitely my favorite part, at least personally, about tonight. Yeah, so I'm the Vice President of Academic Affairs, so my team has like socials and we do a bunch of different like, academic events, but I'm just out here helping with the bake sale, because um, I mean, I thought that would be fun and I wanted to volunteer for the event, so. At, um, DeFi actually raised $18,111 for Cystic Fibrosin Foundation. For the Charger Bulletin, I'm Glenn Rohrbecker. The Health Services Office held the Great American Smokeout event around campus on Thursday. The annual event aims to bring awareness to the dangers of smoking. Students who do smoke are encouraged to quit for a day, with the hope of turning that day into more and more. The University of New Haven has been a tobacco and smoke-free campus since June 2015. And now for your Charger Sports Update, here's Cameron Haley. Thanks, Kaylee. Chargers football lost their final game of the season to Merrimack on a score of 31-21 at home on Saturday. Junior Devin Martin had a career-high 186 yards receiving and quarterback Ajay Patterson threw for 279 yards and three touchdowns. The Chargers will look to come back stronger next year as they close out the 2017 season. Women's Volleyball beat Pace University in five sets at the NE10 Championship quarterfinals this week. Junior Christine Rios led the way for the Chargers with a triple-double, 13 kills, 31 assists, and 16 digs. With this win, the Chargers will hold home field advantage throughout the tournament and the Chargers will take the court on Friday, November 17th, as they take on Stonehill in the semifinals. Men's basketball won their game against Queens College on Wednesday, November 15th, by a score of 86-74. The Chargers were led by senior point guard Danny Upchurch, who scored a career-high 31 points and finished just shy of a double-double with 9 assists. 
The Chargers are now 2-1 and one with their next game coming at Adelphi on Saturday, November 18th. And finally, after winning an overtime thriller at home against East Stroudsburg, women's basketball lost to St. Thomas Aquinas on Wednesday, 56-34. Junior Alexandra Kerr led the team with 13 points, 7 rebounds, and 2 steals. The Chargers are now 1-1 one one on the season and will hit the court on Sunday, November 26th, and take on Golden Beacom here at home. That's it for sports, and back to you, Kaylee. A student committee met last week to hear proposed changes to the residential life policies and development. Students heard ideas from Daniel Percopo, Associate Director for Housing and Operations. One of the major changes included renovations to several on-campus buildings and putting ovens and stoves back into Winchester Hall and Sheffield Hall. There was also a discussion on changing the guest policy to allow students to have more frequent visitors. A second student feedback committee will be held later this semester. That's all for Charger Bulletin news. We won't be on next week due to the holiday break, but all of us here at the Charger Bulletin would like to wish you a happy and safe Thanksgiving. Make sure to follow us on all social media to stay up to date with all the news at the University of New Haven. For the Charger Bulletin, I'm Kaylee Fashler.